Welcome to Geeker. Today, we're going to learn the sum, sum if, and sum ifs function in Google Sheets. So let's get started. So these three functions are very helpful and they have different criteria for each one. So we're going to start off with the first basic one, which is the sum function. So the sum function is going to add the total of a group of cells that we select. So with the sum function, we're going to type equals sum parenthesis, and I'm going to choose the range that I want to do. So from here, I'm just going to go from the beginning to the end of the amounts. So this is the total that we made in sales uh, for this particular range. The next one is sum if, and this one's really useful. And the best way to explain it is what do I want and where am I looking? So I want to know what is the total sales that we made with just coffee. So with this function, we're going to do equals sum if. Now, the first part of this argument is the range. Where am I going to find the answer to the question? So I want to know how much did I make in sales for coffee? So my coffee is listed over here in column C. Then I hit comma. Now I want to know what is my criteria. Well, my criteria is coffee. So I'm going to select the cell that says coffee. Then my last argument is the sum range. What am I adding up? So I want to know the total sales. So it would be column G. So I'm going to close this and hit enter. And as I can see, this is going to just quickly narrow it down and tell me, okay, out of all of this data, I made um, 43.96 in just coffee sales. Now, sum ifs is similar, but with sum ifs, it's going to allow me to have multiple criteria. So in this example, I want to know how many cookies did we sell, but I also want to know only in the month of March. So with this one, it's going to, it's going to be a little bit different. So with this argument, I'm going to type equals sum ifs. Now with sum ifs, you're going to start off with your sum range first. So my sum range is column G, which is the amount because I want to know the total. Then I'm going to say, okay, where do I find the answer to the first question? The first question is, how many cookies did I sell? So I'm going to go to column C because that's where I find the answer, comma, and then criteria one, which is cookies. Then I hit comma. Now criteria range two, where do I find the answer to the next question, which is what month was it sold in? So column B shows the month, comma, and then what is my criteria two? March. So I hit parenthesis and enter. And right here, we learn that we made $1,122.66 from cookie sales in the month of March. So these are the three functions that are very useful. We have sum, sum if, and sum ifs. And as you can see, it can help us to narrow down information from a large database and really find whatever it is that we're looking for. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tutorials.